Okay, it doesn't really suck, or maybe it does, I don't know. I just didn't know what to name this video, and I know there's some insecure motherfuckers out there like me who totally click on anybody who tell them your art sucks. So welcome, you're at the right place. Last time I did a tutorial on how to do my colorful lightning, so if you haven't watched that yet, go watch it and then come back. But don't forget to come back though, because I will find you. I also created this challenge called hashtag angel light where I want you guys to try out the color lighting for yourself and I promise to pick three winners and critique their work so that's what we're doing today. And by the way what a fucking mistake to name my hashtag angel light. I thought it wouldn't have any posts in it, I didn't even check cause like who the fuck would hashtag their picture angel light. Turns out over 5000 people. I should have known that anything that has the word angel in it has like a million fucking posts in it. Yeah, what, what can I do? I have the most awesome name in the world. I'm sorry. It also kind of sounds like I'm a stripper, which is not that far from the truth. Anyway, of course, not all 5,000 entries were for my challenge. And I guess there weren't as many entries as I expected, but you know, you, you gotta be grateful and all that shit. But maybe you didn't find a hashtag or maybe you were doing that lame shit in October. Which is another thing I didn't really think about. But just generally I think it's a bad idea to send people from one platform to the next. Like Instagram people stay in Instagram, YouTube people stay in YouTube. I should remember that when I make my transition to Pornhub. It's, I'm gonna have to find a whole new audience. I knew I couldn't rely on you guys. Anyway, let's get to the winners though, and I'm a little insecure to be doing critiques and overpaints because like nobody mentioned in the description that they want to get critiqued. Like I don't want to be sitting here talking shit about people's art and telling you how much you suck when you didn't even ask for it, but uh, I'm still gonna do it. So the first winner is at underline artsy emily underline. And by the way, who the fuck uses underline in their username? Like what kind of shit is that? Jesus Angel, you still haven't gone to her art yet. I know, I know, I'm sorry. So Emily did pretty good. I really like the concept of the glowing butterfly. The smoke is amazing, the glow is amazing. Also, why does it look like she has a bullet in her shoulder? Like, did she get hit by the butterfly or is there some backstory we should know about? Anyway, let's jump into Photoshop. All right, let's start with fixing some of the general proportions the way that all the Instagram models be doing it and making themselves more likable. So you press Control Shift and X and you go to Liquify, which is the closest thing you can get to magic. You press W and you just start pulling on some things and fixing proportions. Let's fix the jaw. Let's fix the eyebrows. Let's fix this big ass nose. Girl over here looking like she been boxing Mayweather the last two years of her life. And by the way, the liquify is kind of dangerous for beginners. Like if you don't know what you're doing, you should probably stay away from that. But I just wanted to kind of show you what the right proportions would be on this face. Let's fix the wounded shoulder with the bullet and boom, it's a little bit of liquify magic. That's all you need in the world. Actually, you need a little bit more. Also, something really important that I mentioned in the tutorial is how you shouldn't just be outlining the edge of your portrait with the color because it makes it look super flat. And I try to illustrate it over here with these two little bows to kind of show you the difference between good and bad lightning. Because when you just outline the bow, you really lose its form. When you try to think about the shape of the bow and kind of like how lightning is hitting it from the side or from behind or from below, it actually three dimensional, like it's going around the bow, it's not just on the edge. First thing I'd probably do if I was you, I'd pull this butterfly way down. So I mark it with the lasso tool, control C, control V, copy paste it, and you just pull it down. Then you're using a soft eraser to kind of clean the edges and stuff. And now you're asking how do I remove all the other shit in the background? Don't worry, this Photoshop, baby. We get some of the background in here, copy, paste it, then you open up the brightness, you make it a little brighter so it matches the background. Soft brush, erase the edges, and padam the down fucking magic, bitch. So now that we have the butterfly below the portrait, it would only make sense if the lightning is hitting only in the planes that are facing down. So I'm actually erasing all of the lightning that's not gonna be facing the butterfly. And you gotta be thinking in 3D, so this cheek right here is not gonna get hit only on the edge. This whole cheek is gonna be in light. So the ridge of the nose is not gonna have that lightning, but the bottom of the nose though, she. Also, what is this fucking wing on the nose? curling up like it doesn't really make sense like the wing of the nose just comes down 
and then it's like boom so in order to show more form we're not going to be doing any lightning on the top lip and even though it makes sense yeah angel but the top lip is going to catch some lightning it just looks better if you don't do it also the space below the eyebrows is going to catch a lot of that lightning because again it's facing down and the butterfly is hitting it so we have some of that lightning going in like that also another thing we gotta do is make the eyes look down and the way to do that is have the iris actually facing down so when you're drawing eyes you usually have the iris going up like that and it's looking that way and that's probably the worst eye that I've ever drawn but in order to make it look down you have to reverse the iris and make it go that way it actually looks like a weird Indian tattoo so the shape of the iris is not going to be that way, but it's actually going to be that way. So have some of that white going in like that. Also when you're doing eyelashes, you really need to stick all of them together and just make one big eyelash and then have some individual ones sticking out. Don't just draw them like fucking grass. Also when you're doing the tear ducts or whatever the fuck this shit is called, you gotta have you gotta have a plane below the eye, like that shit right here. Okay, that was fucking awful, I'm sorry. So have some of that white between the bottom eyelash and the iris. Also, the highlight of the nose is not gonna be the center of the nose. It's actually gonna be on the edge right here. And also something really important, when you're doing the hair, you really need to break it down in planes. And I have an example here from one of my favorite artists. His Instagram is Georgie Art. And he's doing this beautiful style where he's really showing you how to break down the hair into planes. So I'm not saying all your hair needs to look like you did it in Minecraft. But also you can't just have this wig of a hair that's just going down and there's no forms at all. So actually have some of the planes in there and just show the basic form of the hair. And I'm gonna do a whole separate tutorial on just how to draw hair, but just think about how it's turning around on itself in space. It's not just sitting there like a fucking lifeless broom. So there's gonna be some deeper shadows in there, and you really need to do those in order to show some of the form. And if you're using a pencil, you really need to go hard in order to pull out those dark, dark values. Have some individual hair just coming out of the form. Like, it's just not possible for the hair to be just so perfect. Also, maybe she has one of those things that girls stick in their hair. What is, what is it called though? And maybe that thing is actually green, so it kind of fits the image. Also, you can have like a highlight for the hair, and I'm just doing a simple S curve, and they're just kind of erasing it. And for the butterfly, I'd probably fill out the whole thing with color, just to kind of make it look more magical. Also, is this how butterflies look, dude? I thought butterflies are fucking cute. Yours looks like the worst insect that I've seen in my life. Let's check this shit. Butterfly. This looks fucking disgusting. Let's try to make it cuter, though. So you have one big circle for the body, and then just one little circle for the forehead. And uh, two of those weird things that are just coming out of their head. Dude, my butterfly now looks super fucking creepy though. You know what, forget about it. I, I don't know how to draw butterflies. We we're here for the portrait anyway. Who cares about butterflies? Let's not forget to remove the bullet in his shoulder. Fix a little bit of that clothing. Also add some of that light to the shoulder and the neck. And boom, look at that. Ha, <laughs> I'm fucking good. Maybe just the final touch of color dodge and a great trick that I can give you for the color dodge is to be always using a different color than the one you have in your drawing. So if you have teal or green in your drawing, you might use blue for the color dodge just to kind of make it glow even more. Then you go to selective color which is this little circle down here. You go to the CNs, make them a little bit more blue to make it pop even more. And oh look at that color! Look at that color! And finally you open up the color balance and you just add a little bit of purple and blue to the mid-tones to kind of bring everything together. Before and after, bitch. Also, I kind of forgot. I'm sorry, but uh, fuck your signature. Dude, it looks lame as fuck. And I totally understand, Joe. One of my first signatures used to be this shit. An A and a G. And I was like, oh, I'm so smart. Just write your name like a normal person. It might be something cute. Maybe have a little heart in there. Like a basic white bitch. And it just looks so much better, man. Look at that. Alright, the next winner we got Asteja, Astenia, Astetha. At least you don't have any underlines.
I really like the drawing, the concept is great, the vampire with the blood and the, the, the poo in the jar. Let's get to Photoshop and do it, I don't know. So I think you skip the most important step, which is making your paper darker. So if you watch the tutorial, you go to levels, you pull this little thing down and you make your whole paper darker. That's why you used to have this faded look and the color weren't popping because you need the darkness. So actually let's get rid of the saturation with a color mode layer and let's try to do it again. And I really like the concept of the smoke kind of going around her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my smoke brush, get a bright red color and start playing with it. You open up the warp tool, which is control T, then right click warp and you just start warping it. And I'm also going to use a little bit of liquify little bit more but see how the color is still kind of faded so what you do is you copy the layer you paste it on top of itself and then you put it on color dodge you go to hue and saturation you make it more saturated but you bring the lightness down and boom bitch is covered in smoke also your style is really beautiful but you can focus a little bit more on line weight so if you actually go in and you repeat some other places where there's supposed to be deeper lines and shadows like the outlines of the face the hair the neck and pretty much everywhere where two planes are just touching each other that sounds kind of dirty finally let's make that glow a little bit stronger so I get a new vivid light layer and I just start repeating all of the reds add a little bit on the cheeks and the face so it adds more form a little bit on the hands make that bottle glow before and after so this concept is so good man I'm, I'm low-key jealous I wasn't the one to create it Ooh. Right, last but not least, we have my guy, Art of Makira. Makira? And dude, this guy is the living proof that not all good artists have followers. Like, he's really killing it with all the designs and paintings. Like, look at this. Look at this. 282 likes, man. This motherfucker deserves way more. And I think the problem is, is that his stuff is a little bit too painterly. So if you want to get likes on Instagram, you really got to move more towards stylized or painting a lot of portraits. But that's only if you're a piece of shit like me and you want to get all the likes. Otherwise, you know, keep doing you. First thing, of course, a little bit of liquify magic. Trying to get rid of those duck lips. Fixing the jaw a little bit. Pushing the head back. The neck kind of needs to be thinner. And boom, liquify, bitch. So first thing we're gonna do is actually get rid of that smoke, copy some of that paper, soften the edges. Okay, my fucking Photoshop crashed and I had to start all over again because God knows I'm not saving. So it might look a little different, but let's get to the smoke though. So I'm looking for a brush that's really gonna help out the composition and I'm really looking for those crisp edges so none of that soft brush shit. You get the brush, you press super hard and then you just warp everything and fix it with liquify. Maybe mix it in with another brush so you get even more smoke going. And don't forget to change it to vivid light and actually play around with the colors. Also again, fucking line weight. You can't have the same type of a line going around the whole portrait. So I'm going over the lines, I'm repeating them in places, I'm making them thicker and just generally bolder. Also if you're gonna draw the eyes super black, you need to have some reflections going inside because right now it just looks like a bunch of scratches. So have some of that orange going inside the eye and have a white highlight on the other side. I wouldn't really recommend you to have some lighting in the hair and the clothes because it just kind of looks messy. So instead, maybe have the hair with some white highlights so you can show the form rather than just adding messy color. A little bit more white into the ear and the jaw to kind of separate it. Make sure to outline the hair just to kind of show where it's touching the face. Outline the ear. Dude, I kind of like how in the original she looks like she's kind of doing this. By the way, I totally know what reference you did because I, I totally did a study from the exact same reference and I also wanted to show you how much better I am than you. <laughs> anyway, these are the three different overpaints that I did. I hope this shit was useful. I hope it helped you. And thank you to everybody joining the challenge, man. Hashtag Angel Light. I love you. And listen, I got something very important to tell you, so listen closely. Suck my dick.
No, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. What I meant is I really want to get into this art YouTube community or whatever because I figured that would be the best way for everybody to sign up for my Patreon so I can get rich. So I want to do more critiques, feedback, roasts, whatever the fuck you call this. So I'm going to be doing one of these videos, Your Art Sucks, every single month. So what you do is you go to my Discord server. There's going to be a link in the description below. You click it, you join it, and you start writing in here. There's a whole section called Critique. And I'm gonna be taking some of your work in here and every Thursday I, I live stream on Twitch and I'm gonna be doing over paints I'm gonna be telling you how you get better and all this shit and then the best each month are gonna go into a YouTube video and you're gonna be able to reach all of my seven subscribers congratulations so check out all the links below I have a patreon where you can support me I have a twitch where I live stream every Thursday I'm gonna be doing critiques I'm gonna be doing all this shit just check it out fucking please and thank you for watching, bitch.